Once upon a time, a beautiful queen had a baby girl with skin as white as snow, cheeks as red as blood, and hair as black as ebony wood. She named her Snow White, but sadly, the queen took ill and died soon after Snow White was born. The king was heartbroken, but he did not want his little girl to grow up without a mother. So he married again a year later. His new wife was beautiful, but she was proud and cruel. She controlled the king with dark magic and owned a mysterious magic mirror that always spoke the truth. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who in this land is fairest of all? You. My queen are fairest of all. As the years passed, Snow White grew up and became a beautiful young lady. Even more beautiful than the queen herself. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who in this land is fairest of all? You, my queen, are fair, it is true. But Snow White is a thousand times fairer than you. What? How can this be? I must do away with Snow White right away. Huntsman, take Snow White out into the woods and kill her. Then bring her lungs and liver back to me. As you wish, my queen. did not do what the queen asked. He brought Snow White into the woods, but took pity on her because she was so beautiful. Run away, you poor child! The huntsman killed a wild boar and took its lungs and liver to the evil queen. She cooked them up for dinner. Meanwhile, Snow White ran and ran through the forest, frightened for her life. Finally, as night fell, she saw a little house. Hello! Is anyone home? and thirsty that she ate a little bit of bread and some vegetables from each of the seven plates on the table.
until she found one that was long enough for her and fell fast asleep. Someone has been drinking from my mug. And someone was sleeping in my bed. In mine, too. Look, someone's still sleeping in mine. Don't disturb her. Ah, oh, she is so beautiful. I've never seen anyone so beautiful in my life. Who are you? We are the Seven Dwarfs, and this is our home. Who are you? Snow White explained how she had run away from the evil queen's huntsman and came to the house for shelter. The dwarves felt sorry for her and decided to let her stay as long as she agreed to help with the cleaning and cooking. Oh, thank you, dwarves! I will be more than happy to help! The next morning, the dwarves took their axes and went on their way to the mountains to look for gold. Goodbye, Snow White! Be careful! Not to let anyone in the house. Meanwhile, the evil queen went to her magic mirror once again. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who in this land is fairest of all? You, my queen, are fair, it is true. But Snow White beyond the mountains with the seven dwarves is still a thousand times fairer than you. Snow White is alive? Huntsman lied to me. Now I'll have to go and get rid of her myself. So the evil queen disguised herself as an old woman and hurried to the house of the seven dwarves. Beautiful wares for sale. Good day. I have wonderful ribbons. In many beautiful colors, my darling. Open your door and I'll show them to you. This old lady can't mean any harm. I'm sure I can let her in. Come, darling. Place this ribbon up for you. The evil queen laced the ribbon into the bodice of Snow White's dress and pulled it very tight. She pulled it so tight that Snow White could no longer breathe and she fainted. <laughs> Now I shall be the fairest of the land once again. <laughs> now I... Hurry! Cut those ribbons! What happened, Snow? I let a kind 
frightened old lady into the house. She was selling beautiful ribbons. She must have been your stepmother. Be careful, Snow White. Remember that strangers are not always who they seem. At the castle, the evil queen consulted her mirror once again. And learned that Snow White had been rescued by the dwarves. Then she returned to the house, this time as a beggar. Oh, beautiful girl, please take pity on me. I'm sorry, I can't let anyone in. I'm just a poor old beggar. Please buy this lovely hair comb from me so I can buy something to eat. Snow White could not resist the shiny, sparkling comb. But as soon as she put it in her hair, she fainted and fell to the ground. Her stepmother had filled the comb with poison. Oh no! No way! Not again! No, please be more careful. Meanwhile, the evil queen went back to her mirror. And learned that Snow White was still the fairest of them all. She flew into a rage and stomped down the stairs to her secret dungeon. There, she made a shiny red poison apple. Then, she returned to the house of the seven dwarves and offered the apple to Snow White, disguised as a peasant. Here's an apple for you, my dear. No, I, I'm sorry. I can't accept anything from strangers. Are you worried that it's poison? <laughs> of course not. See, nothing has happened to me. Snow White took a big bite of the apple not knowing that her stepmother had made only one half of it poison. As soon as she began to chew, she fell down to the ground. <laughs> this time the dwarves won't be able to awaken you. <laughs> When the dwarves came home that evening, they found Snow White lying on the ground. They checked for ribbons, and they checked for combs, but they could not find anything wrong with her. Oh, poor Snow White! <laughs> I'm afraid we can't save her this time. <laughs> The heartbroken dwarves placed Snow White in a glass coffin because she was too beautiful to bury. She looked as though she were fast asleep since her cheeks stayed just as rosy as before. She stayed in her glass coffin in the forest for many years. But one day, a prince 
happened upon the house of the dwarves. When he found out that Snow White was a princess, he wanted to take her to his palace. Please, I beg you, let me take this lovely princess to my castle. We will miss her, but yes, you may take her. She deserves to be honored. After all, she is a princess. As the prince's servants picked up Snow White's coffin and carried it away, one of them tripped and bumped the coffin. The movement caused the piece of poison apple to fall out of her mouth. The spell was broken, and the glass coffin shattered into a million pieces. What happened? I'm so sorry, I, I, oh my poor princess. Don't worry, I will make you better. I will make you a better, fancier coffin. You look as beautiful as a rose on a summer day. You're alive? Oh, thank heavens! Snow White! You awake! The spell is broken! What is this? Hmm, a poisoned apple. Her wicked stepmother must have given it to her. A wicked stepmother? Don't worry, my princess. I'll keep you safe. Your stepmother will never be able to harm you again. Thank you, dear prince. Soon after, the prince and Snow White fell madly in love. And they were married in an extravagant ceremony in the prince's palace. As for the evil queen, for many years, her mirror had told her that she was the fairest of them all. Once Snow White was alive and well again, it had something else to say. You, my queen, are fair. It is true. But the new young queen is a thousand times fairer than you. The evil queen was furious. However, she was curious to know who the new queen was. So she went to the coronation ceremony. When she saw that it was Snow White, she fainted from the shock. servants carried her away and locked her in the dungeon where she could never harm anyone ever again.